The government unveiled new dietary guidelines today. The big recommendation is that people 51 and older should reduce their daily sodium intake to about a half teaspoon a day. Too much sodium increases the risk of high blood pressure, stroke, and other problems. Other recommendations include limit trans fats, cut solid fats and added sugar, swap refined grains for more whole grains and limit cholesterol to about 300 milligrams today. Well, eating a healthy diet doesn't have to be difficult. Carolyn Hudson with the Minnesota Dietetic Association is here with three tips to help you meet those new guidelines. Thank you so much for joining us, Carolyn. Oh, thank you very much, Diane. I'm let's, glad to be here. Let's talk about closing the nutrient gap. You've got some fruits and vegetables over here that we're going to start with. Yes, I have three uh, small tips to mm -hmm. help translate those guidelines that we all heard about this morning. It doesn't need to be complicated, so okay. I've just uh, developed three simple things that we can do today. Okay. So closing that nutrient gap, what you want to do is focus on nutrient-rich foods first. Okay. So what that means is getting the most nutrition out of the foods and the calories that you're eating. Okay. So an example is low-fat dairy, and most people think about dairy as calcium, but mm -hmm. there are nine essential nutrients in dairy. So you're getting some of those gap nutrients like vitamin D and the calcium mm -hmm. and potassium. So uh, dairy is very nutrient rich. The, uh, the next thing is vibrantly colored fruits okay. and brightly colored uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you get um, two or three cups of each of those at every day. Wow. And then you mentioned the whole grains. Mm -hmm. So whole grain, fortified grains, and ones that are high in fiber. Okay. For example, that uh, whole grain pasta has six grams mm -hmm. of fiber mm -hmm. in one serving. So that would be a good choice. And then the last one is lean proteins. Okay. Okay. So, and for the first time, the dietary guidelines talked about adding more fish into mm -hmm. your diet. So beans, fish, uh, nuts, skinless uh, poultry, eggs, those are all great. And then you say balance your energy in with energy out. So yeah. that's the middle section. Very, yeah. very key. And I have some good visuals here for okay. people to think about. A deck of cards. Everybody knows what a deck of cards looks mm -hmm. like. That is about three ounces of protein. Okay. So that's the size, you should have that twice a day. All right. So about six ounces of, of lean protein every day. And then of course I have the eight ounces of milk. That's mm -hmm. going to give you one of your three servings of low fat dairy. And then I have six dye there. Now mm -hmm. six dye is equivalent to one ounce of cheese, okay. either cheese stick or a cheese slice. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are all good visuals. Oh, okay. But what's important there, the other side, is your energy out. Okay. And of course we all need to move a lot more. We do. We do. So get out and play for 60 minutes a day. All right. And and I have a call to action for everybody right now, and that is to uh, go on to fueluptoplay60.com, mm -hmm. which um, is a site that will encourage kids and adults to uh, eat more nutritiously, eat nutrient-rich foods, and move more. Oh, wow. Plug okay. in your zip code, mm -hmm. and if your zip code or if your school pops up, that mm -hmm. means your school's involved. If okay. not, you need to get out and get involved because it's about the health of our children. It is. We totally really is. want to encourage them to eat nutritiously and move more. And then finally, we have just a few seconds left, yep. so let's talk about our breakfast. Wake up to breakfast. Mm -hmm. A nutrient-rich breakfast will help you maintain and achieve your, your body weight, your healthy mm -hmm. body weight, and it will help you concentrate more and, of course, meet that nutrient gap of getting more nutrition into your diet. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Again, for more details on the new guidelines, just head to care11.com.